Hi Year One, it's Miss Harris again, your outdoor learning teacher. As you can see, uh, the day that I recorded this video for you, it was cold but sunny, so I decided to come outside, put on my hat, my scarf and my coat to dress up nice and warm and do the video outside. Right, this is our second lesson all about vertebrates. So I am going to share my screen and then we can kick off our second lesson. Okay, fantastic. So my first question for you, year one, is what is a vertebrate? We looked at this last lesson and I'm going to put some pictures up there to help you. Can you remember what type of animal is a vertebrate? What do all the animals that are vertebrates have in common? I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to have a little think or if you're working with somebody next to you to see if you can have a, a chat with them about what you think a vertebrate is. Well done, year one. Fantastic. So a vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone. Do you remember last time we had a little feel of our backbones? And you can do that now if you want. Have a little feel. You've got a backbone as well. So a human is also a vertebrate. And we looked at a few other animals. I can't, I don't know if you can see which ones we've got on the screen there, but I can see a giraffe, a fish, a frog, a human, that was us, and I think that's a hedgehog uh, that we had last week. All right, fantastic. So, I've got some pictures of some feathers up here. Now, it's very difficult to tell just looking from the outside uh, what a vertebrate is because we can't see people's bones uh, from the outside. And one of the the clues of knowing what animal is a vertebrate is on the screen now. Feathers. Hmm. Feathers. Can you think of any animals that have feathers? I'm going to give you 20 seconds to see if you can have a think or if there's someone next to you. Have a little chat with the person next to you about which animals have feathers. Did I hear someone say birds? Well done, year one. Fantastic. You're absolutely right. Birds are animals that have feathers feathers. I wonder if you can recognise any of the birds on the screen now. These are some common birds that you might find in your local area. So in the middle I've got a pigeon. Uh, at the top there's the robin with its red chest um, and at the bottom is the magpie. So those are just a few birds that you might see in your local area. So, why are we talking about birds? We're talking about birds because all birds are also vertebrates. That means they have got a backbone. Now, this is a, uh, a skeleton of a pigeon. Can you see its backbone? It runs all the way down from its neck, all the way down its back. So, all birds are vertebrates. Therefore, if we see an animal that's got feather, that's got feathers, number one, we know it's a bird. And number two, we know it must have a backbone because all birds have a backbone and are vertebrates. So that is one way of telling which animals are vertebrates. And next week we'll look at another type of animal, but we're looking at birds this week. So, this is what I would like you to do today. On your worksheet, 
there will be some pictures and names of common birds that you can find in your local area, like the ones we just saw. So pigeons and robins and magpies, maybe ducks you can see in your local area if you live near a park. So you can watch the videos of birds that I have put on the worksheet and see if you can spot any of the birds on there. Or if you can, put your hat and your scarf and your coat on and you could go outside with an adult and see if you could find any of these birds. Like I've done today, I can hear the birds tweeting and I can see I've seen quite a lot of pigeons because there's a lot of pigeons in my local area. I haven't seen anything else yet but I haven't gone very far so I'm going to keep an eye out whilst I'm out here to see what birds I can see but I definitely spotted a pigeon. Once you have either watched the videos of the birds or if you can gone outside or looked out your window at the birds i'd like you to choose your favorite bird that you have seen draw a picture of it and write its name so here's an example for you so we've got a pigeon a duck a robin and a magpie that's the worksheet that i'm going to give you then i'd like you to either go outside and have a look, look out your window or watch the videos and see if you can spot any of those birds. You might even be able to see birds that I haven't put on my worksheet, which would be really, really exciting. And there you can see a picture of a pigeon and the word pigeon underneath. All right, fantastic. Year one. I wonder if you saw any birds behind me whilst I was doing the video, because there have been some flying around. Mm. Right. Well, good luck spotting your birds. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your picture of your favourite bird that you've seen either on the video or if you managed to look out your window or if you went outside. Um, on seesaw so I'm going to be looking out for those amazing pictures of birds right year one it was lovely uh, to do our second lesson together and I will see you next week bye